Okay, are we ready now? I think I think we are ready. We'll have to adjust the the settings as needed for the volume. My volume is up there. And yes. Oh. Pest, that's a little gross. <laughs> I would never take a free drink from Erebus. Odds are it's poisoned. So, okay, we're going to start. We're going to start. And I hopefully it is a good volume. There you go. Turned it up a little bit. I really do hope this works. Is everything prepared? The text of speech device has been implemented, Custodian. It appears to be functioning properly, unlike your feeble <laughs> Most excellent! Our glorious Emperor will be capable of conversing with- The Mechanicus always has to get in a joke about that. <laughs> your flesh is weak. <laughs> His little subjects once more, and I shall be the first to speak with him. Yeah, I'd be worried too, man. No, what? No. Calm down. I restrained myself from the I will not let this legendary moment be ruined. Why on the toasters, you promised that. <laughs> the toasters. <laughs> I love the toaster jokes. Well, my divine lord, we have managed to implement a text to speech device to your glorious golden throne. Please, speak to us. <laughs> About fucking time. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm a glorious lord. Come so on, funny. I have so many things to complain about. Me. First of all, why do I only have a fucking glass eye on one of my eyes? Is that really necessary? And what is with these <laughs> ultra smirks that I keep hearing about? <laughs> Well, that certainly fucking explains it. It seems like their baby blue heraldry have earned them a most righteous nickname. For that matter, I always thought they looked terrible. Oof. Do they still have that fucking toilet seat as their insignia? <laughs> as a side note, as as a side note, um, <laughs> the reason why, like the Ultramans are part of like the poster, like they're like the poster boys of Warhammer is for because a they're part of a loyalist there's a whole thing there's videos about this <clears throat> but i i heard a video where they're on the loyalist side and when thinking about what colors on minis are best to photograph because obviously they were minis that blue they, so they were between the blood angels the imperial fists and the ultramarines they kicked out the Imperial Fist because yellow is annoying to paint. I wouldn't know that, but that's what I was told. And that blue and red are like look really nice for beginners when they're painting. And that blue turns out really well in like photos and stuff. Yeah. So like easy for starters and like the colors like really pop uh, when you're photographing it. Anyways, that was just a little tidbit I had. I just wanted to share it before I forgot about it. <laughs> well. Yes, they do, my lord. They keep it to honor that Primarch from government. Oh, well, all right then. I always thought <laughs> the he was the greatest seat. of my 20 Primarch sons. <laughs> well, that's excellent, my The lord. greatest little derivative pile of blueberry pudding <laughs> pop fuckery that has ever glazed the surface of this shitty little galaxy. <laughs> Is he still alive? Barely. He was almost killed. He's currently in stasis back in the old parade's home of the crowd. Cut his life supports and tell that stupid fucking Smurf village to fuck right off. Their constant <laughs> uninterrupted chatting is drilling into my skull as if they were the immensely sanctimonious love child of Tinnitus and the Jackhammer. Oh. <laughs> the pain of a million ripped out nose hairs Ooh, of a tender uh. massage compared to this inexpressible ultra torture. Ultra torture. <laughs> I never created anything called Grey Knights. But, but, my lord, they are the greatest of Persian demons in the Imperium. They're all psychics, and they cool. come with the most glorious ways of killing the enemy. Yes! Well, yeah. That includes destroying planets. <laughs> 
<laughs> and killing all of the population when demons attack a world. It's bad. It's not very good. Oh, there we go. There's the chat. I saw someone said that, um, and I don't think I, I knew this, that the cre this was made before we found out that Gilliman was going to come back, so he called it. That's <laughs> That's funny. That's really cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> if you, you, you. Wait. I'm not sure which- oh my gosh. I- I think the toilet seat is a better joke than what you're suggesting. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, greetings, my glorious emperor. It is an honor- Oh, myself. What the fucking fuck is that stupid ass thing? It is the mighty Trendite! It's that cool. That is the worst thing that I have ever <laughs> fucking seen ever. If I still had eyes, I would require someone to deposit Prometheum infused floor cleaner into them. What terrible, terrible person designed this? <laughs> the army technology of this marvelous machine was discovered by the Grey Knights and is held secretly from all inferior Astartes chapters. We are the mob! The exterior design I believe to be personally designed by the Grand Master of the Grey Knights himself, Caldor Dragon. He is the mightiest of the great knights. Why do you like He is currently stuck in the warp, killing <laughs> demons daily, pillaging demonic villages, and vandalizing the chaos god's property like some kind of glorious rascal. He's got like a crush on him. <laughs> a glorious rascal. I'd only call someone that if I was interested in them. <laughs> I like the Dread Knight. He's cool. I like him. <laughs> But it does look like a baby car carrier. I don't like the way, like, I'd design it a little differently than how they have it here, if I'm being honest. But it's still a cool enough concept. He has even written a name on a demon Primark's heart. <laughs> For the love of all stop signs in the galaxy, seas, <laughs> and fucking desist. <laughs> What in the fuck? That is actually very cute. It is. Look at its little legs and oversized body. Adorable. <laughs> Come to pop you. What? Wait, no, don't! <laughs> yes. This is funny, Tommy. Well, I don't know about you, but I feel this is the start of something absolutely glorious. Shut your face, you fucking banana. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That caught me off guard. Let's see, if I do this, will it take me to the next one? Yes, it will! Yay! You know a spoiler, but don't say a spoiler. I, like, pronounced all the words, all the syllables in that word. Spoiler. Spoiler. Spoilers, yeah. <laughs> Does the credit song go hard? Well, then I should just turn down my thing and listen to it. Okay, it is solid. I like it. Just so, the... let me get this straight. It has been 10,000 years since my angsty asshole of a son Horos made me a paraplegic and put on this throne. That is correct. <laughs> How the fuck did you all survive for 10,000 years without me around? Good, well... good question. Extremism. <laughs> That's how they survived. They said, we, on a scale of 1 to 10, we do things at a 25. <laughs> oh my lord, the Imperium has saved people. Thanks for subscribing. <laughs> Observed your teachings and followed it for all these years, always submitting to your superior will. That's a relief. For a second, I thought you guys would have turned into some giant megalomaniacal group of religious people running around killing each other in the name of some fictional deity. Shh, don't tell him. Don't tell him what's actually happening. I think he'd be pretty upset. <laughs> I was close. I was very close to what he said. Or something like that. Oh no, of course not, my lord. We would never stoop so low. The only one we would ever worship is the one true god of all is you, of course. Everything else is heresy. <laughs> and he told everyone for years and years and years. He's like, look, look me in the eyes. I'm not a god, man. And everyone's like, you sure about that? You sure about that? 
<laughs> Are you fucking serious? What is upsetting you, almighty god emperor of mankind? I knew this would fucking happen. Oh, <laughs> he my did. lord, he you knew. don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> the Ecclesiarchy and the Imperial Inquisition both make sure that the people of the Imperium retain their faith in you and you alone by making sure that no one knows about the corrupting powers of chaos. And if they somehow figure it out, we'll just exterminate the planet and it's all safe again. Nice, <laughs> nice. The Ecclesiarchy? The Inquisition? Are you serious, damn it? He really well served on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Remember the age of strife? Uh, <laughs> no. The age of strife. Let me tell you. It was when asshole Cygers first started appearing, and all of asshole mankind started fighting each other over asshole reasons. That is when I first emerged. I destroyed all asshole religions that existed on Terra. <laughs> Do you want to know why? Because you are the one true god, my lord. Wrong. It is because religion is stupid, superstitious, brainwashing crap that makes you into an asshole. This is why I specifically said when designing the imperial <laughs> truth that equality, science, and galaxy conquests is the way to go, and religion needs to be thrown out a window. <laughs> but, but, but my lord, what about the Lectito Divinitatis? Telling us that you are our one true god. That was written by my whiny bitch of a son, Lurgar, who later decided <laughs> to dress yep. up in spikes, scarlet red armor, worship some dark gods, and be really fucking edgy. Stupid rebellious teenage phases. I love his description of Lurgar. That's so accurate. So accurate. <laughs> Lorgar, yes. That was me, uh, putting my, my, uh, my fist in my palm. Fight Lorgar, I'd fight Lorgar. I don't think I'd win, but I'd fight him. <laughs> ah, well, I see, my lord. Now, where is my Centurion? Yes, this is true <laughs> happiness. So what is this age of apostasy? That you mentioned? Um, well... How do I tell do him. This? Tell him. <laughs> oh, we're starting the third one. Here's really? Y yes, my lord. This happened. Yes, thank you! Lorgar! <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, vampire writer. <laughs> yes, that was perfect. <laughs> On behalf of all mankind, I'm really sorry, my lord. I truly am really sorry. You let one of those nutty cults gain a hold of mankind and grow to become <laughs> a state religion of the Imperium, becoming this fucking ecclesiarchy thing. And then, people start to cut their own fucking screen out, waving it around and throwing it at people, all in a pool of their own jizz and blood, to profess their love for me. I'm really sorry. And then, you let some power-hungry motherfucking bureaucrat become the master of both the administratum and that overly dominant ecclesiarchy grog shit, effectively controlling all our hot, leathery assassins from the Ephesio Assassin <laughs> and all asshole psychers in the Adeptus Astra Telepathica. Oh, and our flashlight guys as well. <laughs> flashlight then, guys. This falls to the walls paramount of imperial incompetence that has become your leader starts to kill and torture anyone and everyone he feels like because it makes his bureaucrat balls tingle with delight in a massive, totally pointless purchase. Oh, of I didn't like that. And in addition, he did all this with the most evil fucking name I've ever heard. Go Van Dyer. Seriously, <laughs> how could you ever trust a guy with that name? <laughs> G-O-G-E, Van Dyer. That name is just screaming, I'm gonna take your eyes sockets and put my penis into them. Whoa! I mean, Whoa! Look, my lord. Okay, I don't think that, um, that the name screamed that specifically. Wow. Uh, thank you, uh, Lemon Grand for, for becoming a member. Thank you for joining our, our lovely group. I, I hope you're enjoying this and having a good time <laughs> and i uh yeah that wow that was a lot did someone just say 
Someone just said that they're sensing some heretical approval of Lorgar from me. No, I hate Lorgar. I don't like him. He is whiny. He's the worst. He's like, meh, 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 meh. I make fun of him because I don't like him. It's different from like, I make fun of people. Some people I make fun of. Most people, let me make this clear. Most people I make fun of them because I like them and it's a joke. Other people, usually fictional people, I make fun of them because I don't like them. So, yeah. So it's nothing, I don't like Lorgar. No, no, no. You clearly missed the, uh, the smash or pass stream. And excuse me. No, no. Yeah, so he's called Aurelian, and I was really sad when I came up with my name because you can see a lot of similarities between him and I in terms of my model design and name. But it, I, I assure you, we are not the same. I don't like him. I like the name because... Thank you for following. Someone else followed or subscribed. Thank you. Um, <laughs> like, I, I like Aurelian as in... The Emperor, the Ancient Emperor, that's, that's, and uh, Marcus Aurelius. Thank you, Mr. Clean. I love that user did for subscribing. <laughs> um, so that's what my name is derived from. Not because of freaking Lorgar. That cool name is wasted on him. Wasted. Wasted. Oh, thank you very much. I accept your praise and glory. I'll, I accept it humbly. <laughs> Thank you, James, for the bits. I made fun of fictional people because they aren't real and can't fight back, and it's funny. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, when you put it like that. <laughs> yeah, if, if I wouldn't say that to Lorgar's face. If he if he was in front of me, I would not say that to his face. I'd, I'd die pretty fast. I could maybe get away with it pre-heresy, not post-heresy. Mm-mm. <laughs> Smash or pass, I have heretical ideas about per Perturabo? What did I say? I just said he has pretty eyes. They described him as like really bright, piercing blue eyes. <laughs> Alright, I'll go back to the video. This is like kind of going by fast, like these videos are really quick. The events of the Age of Apostasy is all a great shame upon the Imperium, but he was brought to justice in the end! Why, I was even there when it happened! Several Astartes chapter masters and the Mechanicus Fabricator General came around and told us what Van Dyer had been up to all this time. And then we helped out by conveying the truth of the matter to the leader of Van Dyer's bodyguards, the Bride of the Emperor, by directing her straight to you! <laughs> Why, I remember it all like it was yesterday. <laughs> Sacred God Emperor himself <laughs> upon the golden throne of Terra. Sisters of Battle lore. I've never seen anything as graceful and bewitching in all my life. I know. I don't know if I would describe the uh the Emperor as graceful when he's on the golden throne. Personally, I don't think that's a very good descriptor. Maybe stoic? I think stoic is a good way. Um, stoic is probably the best way to put it, I think. <laughs> Ouch. There we go. That, that's a personal thing, though. Sisters of Battle. Who likes Sisters of Battle here? I love the Sisters of Battle. They're great. Their, their lore is like... It's so creepy. It's so creepy. I'm like, ew. This guy's like the brides of the Emperor. Like, Ew. You're weird. You're weird. You're a weird dude. How did no one pick up on that? <laughs> Wait. Wait, what do you mean I have a fetish? Okay. No, no, that's not what this is about. None of that. <laughs> None of that. No, no, no. <laughs> Right? And we get to clean his entire body several times a week. Ooh, I'm so unfortunate. 
unfathomably jealous, I could burn you all right now. But I. What did I? What was that? What, what was that? <laughs> Why? That was so. Ew, no. <laughs> so gross that's so weird <laughs> i i love the emperor and i love saying goodies but i don't know if i love him love him that much <laughs> oh my hey bahamut bar just because i happen to like some of those do things doesn't mean i'm pining all the time so <laughs> well so don't worry Right. Anyway, as you can see, Van Dyer's not the one you're supposed to be looking up to. He doesn't do anything but deceive to gain more power. He is a madman, and his reign of blood must be stopped. <laughs> Ew. Stop with your noises, Are you lady. Even listening? Uh -huh. uh, oh, I'm. I'm sorry. I spaced out. The emperor has some quite divine. Abs. Actually, those are just bones jutting up. But anyway, <laughs> I may have served Van Dyer for a long time, but his megalomaniacal ways must come to an end. Oh ah. my gosh. Okay. <laughs> you. Okay. Sure. Sure. You have committed the ultimate heresy. Not only have you turned your back on the Emperor and stepped from his light, you have profaned his name and almost destroyed everything he has striven to build. You have perverted and twisted the path he has laid for mankind to tread. As your own decrees have stated, there can be no mercy for such a criminal. I renounce your lordship. You walk in the darkness and cannot be allowed to live. Your sentence has been long. I like how we're just standing here. <laughs> yes, I can relate. I don't have time to die. I'm too busy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I remember that too. Some girl <clears throat> came in here and stared at me with depraved, flustered eyes. If I had the proper bodily components left, I would probably have gotten a fairly insecure boner. That's the Adeptus Auritus for ya! Doubtful. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't believe that. I mean, we know the Emperor had kids. And, and beyond the Primarchs, like, actual, like, biological, straight up. With regular, with regular ladies, but, like, still. <laughs> I don't think he would have been excited over that. That man is, like I said, stoic. <laughs> oh my, okay. <laughs> I can see where this whole thing is going now. <laughs> oh boy. You haven't made female space marines, have you? Huh? Oh, no, that isn't even possible. Only lewd and deviant artists of pen and parchment ever come up with something like that. <laughs> even then, we didn't catch all of them. process, we had to throw them into the fire. It's good. The Adeptus Astartes can only contain males. No girls allowed. They are yucky. Yes, yes, I can confirm. Girls are yucky. I speak as a female. Very yucky. Pretty gross. Pretty gross. What is uh, as everyone? Girls are yucky. Mhm. Mm I'm, I'm very gross. Yep, yep. We have cooties. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> See, I can say it. I can say it because I'm a girl. <laughs> I guess anyone can technically say it. It's okay if I say it. <laughs> and see, the God Emperor's ag Emperor agrees. It's. Yep. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, I'm yucky. I'm pretty gross. <laughs> As if there are girls on the internet. <laughs> well, we won't go. I didn't know they were going to talk about female space marines. Let's not talk about that here. <laughs> oh, you had to. Ew. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we can be pretty gross. We can be pretty gross. Yep. 
Yeah, we're pretty gross. Yeah, I'm not a girl. You heard my real voice. You're right. You totally did. My my voice changer. This is my very well-developed voice changer. <laughs> Dude, that'd be funny if that was actually the case. If my voice changer is so good, I actually sound like this. <laughs> a, the idea of a bunch of us starting is going, ew, cooties, is lost in your brain. That's funny. <laughs> you have your cooties shot? Good, good, good. You, you stay, stay vaccinated from the cooties. They are contagious. And so much as like you meet a girl, like you're like, it's going to be bad if you're not, if you don't have your vaccination for it. <laughs> See, you can only, you can only pine for the emperor. No girls. Mm -mm. <laughs> Yep. See, you're safe from me because this is this is on on the computer. This is uh, on the internet, so you're not at risk of getting cooties from me. Yep. Mm hmm. Well, Sanguinius, he is like perfect. He cannot be infected by cooties. So that's that's the thing. He's safe. He's safe. He's the only one who's safe. <laughs> Oh yes, Johnny Ork, that is that is correct. Only one, only two ways to build up an immunity to girl cooties. Be faithful to your girl or be gay. <laughs> I I definitely recommend if you have a girl, be faithful. If I catch any of you cheating, the emperor and I will have a reckoning and we will come for you, okay? We will get come after you. So, <laughs> we'll come after you, man. Yeah, I will say it. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is going off off topic so fast. <laughs> Uh, oh, are cooties a Nurgle or a Slanesh thing? It's like both. It's a little bit of both. They they work together on that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You only cheat with the Emperor? I don't think... Think about it this way. You should stay loyal. Because you know how the Emperor feels about loyalty? Yeah. He's pretty obsessed with it. So even if you were... Like, if you were cheating on him, like, cheating on your girl with the Emperor, I think he'd still be pretty upset about it. So, that's just me. So. <laughs> uh, no, don't cheat on those tests. That's really bad. Don't cheat on those. <laughs> ah! This is so cursed. This chat is so cursed every time. <laughs> Thank you, Ultra Fist, for the bit. I would rather be friends with a murderer than a cheater. A dude kills for the emperor while the other guy cheats on the emperor, which is <laughs> hella heretical, my dude. Yeah. Yep, yep. See, at first, like, the first line, you'd rather be friends with a murderer than a cheater. I was like, uh, I, I think you might not have your priorities lined up. But when you put it that way... I understand. I understand. So, yes, everyone be loyal, please. If I'm going to instill anything in you while you watch me stream, it's to take care of yourself with my list of things you have to do at the end. And it's also being loyal. Be loyal. And, and if you're not happy in your relationship, be honest. And don't cheat. Just be honest. Okay? Has everyone got that? Write that down. Write that down. That's important. If you're going to learn anything today, that's what you should learn. <laughs> Wait, multiple chaos gods work together on one project and it worked. <laughs> We're screwed. Yep. Yep. Yes, Ultra Fist, you're correct. Communication is key. 
be loyal because heresy is cringe. It is cringe. Cheating is cringe. <laughs> oh, I know the rest of the song, Bahamut Bard, but I'm not going to sing it. I'm just letting you know that I know it. <laughs> If you're not happy with your relationship to the Big E, well, don't cheat. But you're just going to have to suffer through that one, man. <laughs> yeah, your one comment just made this whole thing go crazy, Johnny Ork. <laughs> What's that about taking care of yourself? It's 3 a.m. and you're just a little tired? Well, I understand. I was up until 3 a.m. yesterday, technically this morning, so... <laughs> Should we continue everyone? This has gone off the rails. This is gonna this one episode is gonna be like its own video where we talk about being loyal. Can one be loyal if you've never had one in the first place, like a relationship? Being loyal to your values, I would say. I, I would put it like that. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Continue, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, well, well. They say, my lord. So what's up with this Inquisition thing? Oh, boy. The next one. Actually. I think I have to go now. Stop. You were telling me about this Inquisition thing. Oh, hold it. Wow. <laughs> I think that's your regular everyday meal of a thousand sacrifice souls. Okay, I'm gonna go and check on. <laughs> Gotta pull out your thousand sacrifice souls out of the microwave. Don't worry, I'll be right back. <laughs> Yes, tell How us. How could you do that? Have you He's forgotten? the emperor. I'm the fucking emperor. Yes! I sit around and randomly shit out warp storms daily because I have nothing better to do. <laughs> now, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to explain. Why are there so many warp stars? <laughs> I think I shat out at least five warp storms <laughs> during that presentation. <laughs> Really, what the fuck have you all become? Labor camps and sterilizations? <laughs> Murder millions over bare superstition? Yes. Have communication of actually loyal Astartes? Yes. Have thousands of imperial planets and its valuable assets destroyed because some by fapped with barbed wire and accidentally summoned a demon. <laughs> <laughs> that image is so cursed. <laughs> Oh if, oh, if you summoned a demon that way, that'd be horrible. That'd be so horrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> to be painfully hypocritical and use Xenos and demonic weaponry and aid in order to carry across my will. Use techno monkeys. But, my lords, the Inquisition's works has saved mankind on numerous occasions. Like during the High Fleet Leviathan Crisis, where the Inquisitor, known as Cryptman, stepped forward. The Tyranids, which he had previously named them, had managed to outmaneuver the Imperium, but thanks to Cryptman, their threat was abolished. He had managed to have a Magos concoct a poison against the Tyranids, which they then managed to defeat them entirely with. Am I gonna have to start writing a list over things I don't know what the fuck you are talking about <laughs> because what in the balls are a Tyranid? Hey, <laughs> right. It's kind of nasty, but still, it was quite heroic of him. And how much did this threat cost to abolish? Um, well, let's just say he didn't have the luxury to count the cost. Anyway, there was also one time during the first War of Armageddon where the Grey Knights helped the Space Wolves fight off a demon Primarch. 
please don't get oversensitive about the Primark thing. I really don't need more of this. Now you are bringing up those fucking grey knights again. With oh, that no. stupid ass baby carrier dread knight thing. My inexistent eyes oh, are still sore you. from seeing that abomination. Yes, but truly the Space Wolves received great aid from the Grey Knights in their battle. And then what? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean what happened after the battle had ended? Ah, uh, well... <laughs> tell him, tell him, the tell him. The Space Wolves kind of wanted to save the survivors of the war, but the Inquisition sort of wanted to put them into labor camps and to sterilize them and have them die off, which the... Uh. Um... Space Wolves didn't really like that yeah. much, so... Uh, <laughs> Well, there was a Cold War, and the Grey Knights betrayed the Space Wolves, and some shit happened, but that isn't important. No, <laughs> let's gloss over it. Because, well, one time the Grey Knights stopped a bloodthirst for using an ancient, very dangerous technology known as the Blood Tide from destroying a world, and it was truly glorious. And then what <laughs> oh shit, um, they <laughs> killed a massive amount of innocent sisters of battle and adorned their armor in their blood, but- Just, okay, <laughs> stop. This organization, <laughs> however, it came to fucking Oh my gosh, it's so bad. ...concentrated, whole brain stupidity. And whoever came up with the idea to create it in the first place is obviously a fucking idiot. They walk around <laughs> and do whatever they fucking feel like while laughing yes. really snarky at the Plathian communities they see before them, <laughs> all while having themselves. And all their troops oh. made in loads of fucking shiny shit and skulls to look oh so emperor worshipping when really they are just creeps in trench coats. And that is all they will ever be. Now, ready yourself, send this message to the scribes. I want it sent to every <laughs> corner of the fucking galaxy. I, the Emperor of Mankind, hereby make my official decree that all organizations contained oh my within gosh. the Holy Orders of the Emperor's Inquisition and the Adeptus Minis Dorum shall be disbanded and removed from existence. Oh all my gosh. Either organization shall return to their sector of birth and work there as a regular citizen once more. All who refuse shall be branded renegades until they Oof. have given up their futile strive to conquer the galaxy in the name of their dogmatic religion. <laughs> Sign the Emperor of Mankind. Yes! A solid uh, note. I shall go ahead and do that immediately, my lord. I'll be back when I'm finished. He this ran out of there. Nuts. Seriously, how it could an organization like this spring into Exista? Wait a moment, I remember something. What? Shit fuck. This can't be for real. Malcador. No! 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 Why would they do that? That makes me so sad! <laughs> Why would they bring that up? Why would they do that? That's so mean! Why would they bring up Belkador? Which one is this? Is this- this is number six? I was just gonna watch six, but... You're gonna make me very upset. Melkador. Oh. Just so sad. Look, I'm making the good to be good. Lord Inquisitor Fyodor Karnas. What is it? Do not waste my time. I'm very busy initiating exterminatus on this mining world. Without giving me the shiny shit we need. Seriously, we can't have our soldiers walking around without the blame. A very important message has been sent to you directly from the Holy Terror itself. What is it about? Here, read it. Read it. What? <laughs> this is heresy! Oh, 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 this, this, this can't be good. This can't be good. That can't be good. Mm. Oh, we're on four, but my list, I had, it shows two before that, so I thought we were six. Watch up until episode seven, like through episode seven or. Okay, 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 okay. I will, I'll do it, I promise. All right, episode five. My lord, the deed has been done. And it took a fuckload of time. At least 3,000 scribes died and I somehow managed to get a headache in the process. 
but the message has been sent to all inquisitorial and ecclesiarchal organizations in the galaxy. Those scribes probably died because all the inquisitors killed them for their heresy. <laughs> Good night, people who are staying up way too late. Get sleep. Good sleep. My lord? Hello? Are you awake? No. My lord. No. I have completed the mission you entrusted me. I have traveled the... This sounds like General Grievous. Is that me? Is that just me? Sounds like General Grievous. <laughs> Galaxy and follow these 12 individuals of character, skill, and determination. Please, if you will only see them, I will be ready to make my sacrifice. You have done well, my faithful servant. I trusted you to find me the most inquisitive and trustworthy this galaxy has to offer, and you succeeded. I approve of your selection, Malkador. Thank you, my lord. No. These individuals will lay the foundation for the eternal watchmen of the Imperium. Our recruiting endeavors. Keeping mankind away from the abyss that is chaos. Now that my final duty has come to an end, I shall make my final sacrifice for you, my emperor. I... ah. Oh. If only he had actually gotten to say those things. It was so much worse. So much worse. I was pretty upset. Just, ugh. Oh. That whole bit where he just, ah, oh, that was so sad. And the emperor, you can, every, ugh. Oh. You could tell he was sad and he was devastated. Ugh. And that, oh gosh, there's nothing he could do. Ugh. And that he was like never gonna see him again. Like, ugh. <sighs> Very sad. The best friend of the Emperor. Very sad. Ugh. But if only they could have said more like right at like the very, very end. Behold the greatest sacrifice of our age. Malgador the Sigilet is no more. Henceforth, he shall always and only ever be Malkador the Hero. Malkador the Hero. Run! Uh, my lord, you're awake? Of course I am, you fuck studies. Can't you see when people are having dramatic flashbacks? <laughs> oh, um... I'm really sorry, my lord. Anyway, the deed has been done. The message has been conveyed. Good. How they dare shit upon a sacrifice that my most loyal servant ever made by turning the organization he laid the foundation for into an elitist shit fest is inexcusable. Excuse me, my lord. I don't think I follow. Malkador, the hero, previously known as Malkador, the sigillate. He was my bro for life. And yeah. the first High Lord of Terra. Mm -hmm. He was the one who ruled and spread the word of the Imperium in my stead while I was tinkering with his throne. If it weren't for that disappointment of a son Magnus the Bookworm, he just <laughs> had to fall to the temptations of chaos and sent a brain-shattering psychic phone call to me with his plan. <laughs> the barriers that protected my greatest project, the webway of mankind, wouldn't have been ruined and Malkator wouldn't have had to make his sacrifice. 
Yeah. Oh. So, um... Everything is Magnus's fault? Definitely. <laughs> if I could, I'd brutally spank Magnus until his ass would turn so red that his face would look pale in comparison. <laughs> ah, I see. Come to think of it, is Magnus still alive? Hmm. Last time I heard he's a demon prince now, residing in the Eye of oh Terror on the planet of the Sorceress. <laughs> Sounds really fucking nerdy, just like him. It, yeah, it does. It does sound very nerdy. I want to send those and try to get a hold of Magnus and then bring them here to me. If they fail, they'll at least not be so fucking snobby anymore, and if they succeed, I'll get to spank Magnus so it's all good. Very well, my lord. I'll remember the Solid test. plan. Now, I wonder how the disbanding of all those shitty cult organizations is going. <laughs> not there well. No doubt about it, fellow Inquisitors. Whoever sent this message is a heretic. There is a heretic on terror. Pretending to be the holy god emperor of mankind. This must be the work of demons. A cult. It must be a cult. Yes, a gene stealer cult. We cannot let this heretic keep doing what he is doing. If we can't do it, it is how we tell our way. I don't think so. That would be kind of counterintuitive. Counterintuitive? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> we cannot perform exterminatis of holy terror yet. But what we can do is send an inquisitorial representative there as one of the High Lords of Terror, and then argue with the rest of the High Lords until they allow us to perform a thorough search and purge of our planet. Oh, that sounds real good. It should be like a manual exterminatus. Just more <laughs> door kicking and <laughs> burning building. Maybe we can check if there is a two world while we're at it. Now, my brothers and sisters, radical what? Puritan, the only thing you need to do is vote for me as your inquisitorial representative. I will travel with my feet to Terra, find the culprit who is behind these messages. And kill you for the Emperor. Oh boy. This has plot to it now. I thought I thought it was just regular We're just talking to the Emperor. And now it's like, oh, we've got pure content now. This is like got plot and everything. Greetings, Honorable Batten Brother. Did you hear the news? Indeed, I did it, Honorable Battle Brother. We brother. have received a mission, Holy Terror Prince. Brother. That is right, Honorable Battle Brother. It is our time once again to prove ourselves as Ultramarines. And with pride and honor, we shall succeed. And yes. we will never fail our sacred duties. Mm. After all, the greatest of the all. Soon enough I should stop hearing their constant fucking chanting in my head. <laughs> I've been hearing it for so long that I'm starting to feel like I have warp traveled on fucking bicycle. <laughs> I'm still not certain about this idea, my lord. Are you defying me? Oh, no, no, oh, absolutely oh, not. Oh, oh, oh. I was just thinking, since the Ultramarines are one of the greatest forces in the galaxy, are you 100% certain that sending them to their imminent doom on the planet of the Sorceress is a good idea? Look, my child. It's fine. I know you are fucking stupid, but I'm your father, and you should never argue against your father. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to get a lot more plot with this. I'm sorry for the people that have to leave or already left. Very sorry. Oh my gosh. Because he always knows best. Mm-hmm, yeah. Isn't that right? Facts. Of course! That's a good custo, Deezer. Your <laughs> intelligence is growing remarkably fast. Oh just gosh! Like your oh, well. Thank you. Death. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> the little giggle! <laughs> oh, thanks, dude. That's so nice. Can the emperor say that to me? That would be nice, please. Tell me I'm smart. I'm smarter. 
<laughs> well, he well is the emperor proud of me? <laughs> that was really wholesome. He's like, Dad. He's like, Yeah. <laughs> I'm smart. I'm. S I like to say I'm smart with an E. Smart. <laughs> Sorry. Dang. Now, prepare your cleansing equipment. My eye lobes are itching like they are infected Ooh. by a fucking Death Eater Ooh. virus. Also, bring my Centurion. Right in the center. <laughs> oh, they're so angry. Hey, Lords of Terra. We are gathered here today to discuss the most pressing matter. To the survival of the Imperium of Man, such that we have never seen before. Should we outlaw the use of laxatives to everyone but us? Because my poo has been really hard and dusty lately. I didn't want to know that! I didn't want to know that! Oh my! Oh my! That's so. That's. Bleh. <laughs> Just what I think is going to be a normal video. It becomes that. Ah! <laughs> and thank you for your nice comments. I'm glad that you guys are proud of me. <laughs> no, we're not going to think about how it can be dusty. We're not going to think about that, okay? Okay? We're just going to we're gonna skip. We're, we're not going to think about it. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I disagree. My general needs to pull the several relatives. Oh. oh my, this is painful. Oh. Yes, that guy is based. Yeah, that guy, he's based. He's so based. This that is a dumb conversation. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Seriously, it isn't funny anymore. Based. Uh, you make fun of my hat on a daily basis, and now you send this ever damned message throughout the entire Imperium. Why? Uh, can you quiet down, Towerhead? I can't hear you. Towerhead. We didn't, we didn't send anything, I think, did we? I don't know. Who am I again? I forgot. He makes me think of, uh, the guy on the left. Where's my, my mouse? Here it is. He makes me think of, uh, this guy here. Makes me think of a soldier from Team Fortress 2. <laughs> Do you want to see a magic trick? Good. Abracadabra. <laughs> Soldier's funny. I like soldier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Robocop. I could see that. <laughs> old Robocop. Honestly, I don't think he would be, like, that old. It's just how they're portraying his, his voice. He might be, like, middle-aged, but not, like, old. Like, they're portraying him. <laughs> I'm not familiar with Judge Dredd, but I'll take your word for it. Well, if you didn't send the message... Who did? Who Someone sent is the obviously message? being very mean. Oh, stuff you like. How? Can you see that we're having a very important oh. discussion about who here? This must be the 20,000th time you've had that discussion. 2,374. Time to be exact. He's very musical, Back that one guy. He will be a cow with devils. Oh, yeah. Today we could all find a coach. <laughs> Let me just lay out my my corpses. I did not miss the part where it was replaced by a servo skull. I didn't miss that. I just didn't comment on it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go back to the ecclesiastical palace and figure out which one of you prune heads 
ordered this message to be sent around. The Ecclesiarchy is not disbanding, and that's that. And that is that. My lords, Ooh. Inquisitorial representative has arrived. The Inquisitorial representative? I hate that person. Ah, the Inquisition. Very well. What name does he go by? Lord Inquisitor Theodore Karamazov, sir. What? Karamazov? Does he have lore? Am I not aware of the lore? I feel thoroughly refreshed now. Chain halberds truly do wonders. <laughs> My lord, I've been thinking of this. When Magnus tried to contact you, what did he try to tell you? Are you siding with chaos now? No, 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 mm -hmm. My lord. I'm just pondering here. But I'm thinking, let's say that Magnus was actually trying to warn you about Horus' soul. Okay. If that was the case, then Magnus wouldn't have had to send his message to you if Horus hadn't fallen. Yes. And Horus wouldn't have fallen if the chaplain Erebus wouldn't have tempted him to join Chaos. Right. Okay. And Erebus wouldn't have kept turning Primarchs to the ways of Chaos unless he hadn't tempted Lord Arab to his side to go with the Word Bearer's first company captain, Corfaron. Ah, Corfaron, we hate him so too. By that logic, wouldn't this all actually be Erebus and Corfaron's fault? Now you are just talking about uh... the as I said earlier, everything is Magnus. They started it. Lorgar and Corfer. They they kind of started this. Erebus is the one who really started it. But like, to an extent, everyone has some culpability in the matter. So, um, yeah, there was gaslighting and girl bossing uh, during the heresy and how it got started. But uh, I would still say that, uh, you know, it's not. It's not solely, like, it, it is mainly Erebus, I will say. Erebus is the worst. But blaming Magnus is funnier. Yeah. <laughs> All my homies hate Erebus. <laughs> yeah. Facts, facts, facts. This is Paul. Of course, I will. Yes, right. yes, correct. By the way, while you were sending that message to the Ultramarines, did you also tell them to cut your man's life support? Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, my lord. Oh I no! I forgot! Should boot. Speaking of which, I need you to explain something to me. What is it, my lord? Why are you the only one ever visiting <laughs> me? Uh, Gatekeeping! Gaslight! Gatekeep! Girl boss! <laughs> 